In this part two of how to edit faster, I'm gonna show you some more keyboard shortcuts I use to edit faster. Now, if you haven't seen part one, I will leave a link in the description below. I would suggest that you go ahead and watch it because it's gonna help you understand this video, all right? So once you do that, let's just jump into it. The first thing I wanna do is I want to change out, change the layout of this timeline. It, I wanna be able to see more of these waveform lengths, this audio um, waveform. So to do that, you go to the right hand side and click on this icon and you can see it makes the, the waveforms more visible. Also, I can increase the, minimize or increase the size. Okay, that looks good. To go to the beginning of these of this video clip, just hit the up arrow key and it will take you to the very beginning. From here on, I'm just gonna use my keyboard. And what I wanna do is I wanna put my cursor above the timeline and I'll, I will explain why in a little bit. The first thing I wanna do is to move forward. I usually do a shift front arrow key. And as you can see, it will fast forward to the spot I want. And then to zoom in, I do a command plus or command minus to zoom out. So just so I can see the waveform lengths, let me hit play by tapping on the space bar. And there, I begin to speak right there. So to cut to that point, I will hit option and then the, I think it's the left bracket key. Boom, and you see it moved everything to the right. From here, I would tap the space bar to make sure I didn't mi miss anything or I didn't make any mistakes while I'm talking, but let's just, for the sake of this video, assume that everything I said here is perfect for this section. Let's move over to the gap and get rid of this gap over here. So I'm gonna hold on to shift and then the right arrow key to fast forward. All right. So, and to move one frame at a time, use the arrow keys, just arrow keys. So that's the left arrow key. I think that's that right there. So to make a cut right there, what you wanna do is hit Command B. Boom, that made a cut right there. Now I'm gonna move forward by hitting Shift, right arrow key, boom, boom. And I think that's a, let me move back just one frame, maybe another one, all right. And let me move the clip over to the right. So I do that by hitting option, left bracket key. You see that? All right, let's move on to the next part, the next gap you can see. Uh, again, shift, right arrow key, fast forward, or shift, um, left arrow key to move back. Let's say I wanna make a cut right there. Now, here I'm gonna show you why you don't wanna uh, have your cursor down here in the timeline because if I were to hit the Command B uh, key right now, let me show you what happens. Command B, and it made a cut where my cursor is, not where my playhead is, and I don't want that. So let me do Command C to undo that and I'm gonna leave my cursor back where it was, above the timeline. So let me move forward again, shift, front arrow key to fast forward. And then let me make a cut right there. And then again, shift, front arrow key. That seems, that right there. That seems like a good spot. So again, option, left bracket key. And this is basically how I move through my footage. Again, for the sake of, it, of this video, I'll, I usually play through all this by hitting my space bar and that plays it and then I pause it and if I need to make a cut, I either do option left bracket key or I make cuts with the command B uh, uh, keyboard shortcut. So. It's a combination of those two things. So just experiment with it. And what I would suggest you do is that you write down these, these keyboard shortcuts. Otherwise you will forget them and you will not use them. I usually have them in a post-it note written down in front of my desk. 
and that way I can quickly look at it and once it becomes second nature, I can throw away that post-it note, but that's just uh, something I do. Anyways, if you have any other questions, let me know and I will try to get to those answers as quickly as possible. I hope you found this useful and if you did, go ahead and subscribe because I'm putting out videos like this every week, all right? So I'll see you on the next one.